Hey folks, as you can see, the room has changed a lot since the last video. Uh, it's pretty much finished with the renovation, but the interior is not really finished. I only have this uh, workbench in here that was in here before. And of course my, my drill press and the bandsaw that were already here in the room, so I put them in here now. And yeah, it's basically working the, <laughs> the workshop a little bit now because I can drill stuff, saw stuff. And it already helped me a lot with my new project, the, a new milling machine. I won't move my old milling machine in this workshop, but I will show you at the end of the video how the new project looks like at the moment. And yeah, I think I will take you with me now and show you how I did uh, the things here with the room, the electrical wiring and stuff here. Let's start with the lights. As you can see, I went with LED stripes. These are 24 volts with 120 LEDs per meters and a total of about 270 watts in this room here. So it's pretty bright and they make a very nice, uh, good quality light and the light, is, the light distribution is very even. So I'm really happy with this, uh, how it turned out. And to avoid that the uh, LED stripes will fall off the ceiling, I've made these little clips here and I glued them to the ceiling with some double stick tape that is very strong. So these will hopefully prevent the LED stripes from falling off. And I also uh, made these end pieces here, which uh, hold the, the wire securely so the wire won't pull off the LED stripes. Then I installed some uh, wall outlets here, just normal wall sockets. And there are another two one. I'm not sure if they will stay there because uh, as I said, I'm not sure about the layout already and maybe I will put the milling machine here and the lathe here. Uh, originally, when I uh, mounted those wall outlets, I had planned to put the milling machine in this corner and the lathe here under the window. But maybe it's uh, nice to have the workbench under the window and then you can open the window, have fresh air and so on. But let's see how this will, will go. It's, it will be quite easy to move those because I have uh, cable channels all around the room on the ceiling here in the corners. And uh, so it's uh, very easy. I just have to pull a wire and uh, mount the socket to the wall and then it's done. Yeah, I um, put my drill press here. Here you can see also the stand I showed in the last video. I'm very happy with this stand. It works perfectly fine. The milling machine is very solid and uh, what should I say? As it just works. Here's a little bit of stuff for the drill press inside and here's pretty much nothing inside. So the interior, as I said, is not really finished already. The floor, I used some leveling thing. Don't really know how it's called in, in English. So the, the floor is leveled and even. And I also painted it with some floor paint. But as you can see here, I'm not sure how good uh, or how long this paint will be nice and pretty. I had to drill a lot of steel pieces for my milling machine project. And there, of course, I, uh, there were chips lying around where I stepped on them. And as you can see, the, the floor already shows quite some signs of wear. And down here, it's a little bit dark. Let me brighten up this a little bit. Now come on, focus. And here I dropped the steel piece and as you can see that uh, yeah, the, the floor wasn't happy about that. 
but hey, it's a workshop, so uh, I think that the floor will not be pretty uh, in the future. And here's a bandsaw, and yeah, just standing around here now. And here the door is now working again. I put some cloths down there because there's a pretty big gap. And I will put a insulation layer in front of the door again, but it will be easy to remove so I can open the door if I need this. And yeah, here the window, I decided to uh, let that window in there because it's pretty okay for a basement window and in winter I think I can just make something that I can clip in front of it for some extra insulation and then it will work. I will paint it so it looks a little bit nicer and yeah. Here on the cable channels I printed some corner pieces so it's uh, very easy to have a nice corner section here because uh, of course you can cut it in a 45 degree angle and try to place everything so you have no gaps and so on but the ceiling is not that even and with these corner pieces I have a lot of adjustment range and they just clip in where the cover goes and so done. Here on, on this position of the cable channel I had to be a little bit creative because my corner pieces didn't fit in here. Uh, the gap here was too small so I just designed a, a complete piece and printed it and works perfectly fine here. And now for the end, the best part in my opinion, the electrical installation. I went a little bit crazy on this one here, but I think I will have no shortage of fuses and space here for my uh, future electrical installation in this room here. But of course it's not an instruction how, you to, how to do your electrical installation and you should only do it if you are a trained person and know what you are doing. The main input for the room comes down this cable here. Uh, luckily the uh, main distribution board of this house is directly behind this wall so I just had to drill a hole through it and that was very easy. And here is a main switch for the pretty much the whole room, not the complete room, but all the outlets I will put on the wall here and here I have some three-phase outlets I haven't mounted yet. I will mount them when the uh, according machine is in place so I know exactly where to put them. And yeah, therefore this switch is uh, installed here so I can turn off the whole room and I don't have to worry about something uh, explode or catch fire or whatever. And here the, the first row is pretty much for the uh, switch here. And here this RCC here, this fuse is for this wall outlet here. This one is always active so you don't have to switch on the main switch to have this socket working if you want to uh, plug in the vacuum cleaner or something like that. And here's a light switch. I have a little bit of a special situation on this one here because I'm using this uh, Siemens power supply which needs three phase power you can see up there and <clears throat> so I cannot use a simple light switch to switch this on and off and therefore I went with this solution here this is a, a circuit breaker for motor originally, but the instruction manual of the power supply ex uh, says that you can also use uh, this one here as a fuse. And I had uh, this lying around, so that was the easiest solution for the three-phase fuse here. And here's our contactor. 
that is switched uh, with this light switch here. So I can switch the three phases of the power supply over there. And for all the other outlets I have an RCD type B here. So I'm, this one also works with variable frequency drives. And down here I have three three-phase fuses and three single-phase fuses. Here you can see these two fuses are already connected. They are for this and this outlet there. And the rest is not connected yet, but as I said, I will mount the three-phase outlets when I know where the machine uh, is positioned. That's pretty much all I can show you here now. So let's go over and look how the new milling machine project looks like. And here are the parts. Uh, this time the milling machine will be out of concrete, as you can see here, and a little bit more rigid than the previous one. Uh, this project is inspired by Elke from Sebastian, or aka NCNC here on YouTube. I will link his channel and his project so you can find it easily. And my milling machine will be basically the same, just some minor changes and a little bit more travel, but that's pretty much all. And yeah, there will be uh, uh, more videos about it in the future, but that's enough for today's video. I hope you liked it. And if you want to stay updated, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to support me further than just watching the videos, I also have a Patreon account. I will link it down in the description. And see you next time. Goodbye.